two tutorials, we've learned how to create a composite by merging two images. This is our original image. Uh, and in the second tutorial, we learned how to remove distractions in the background, being our helper here over to the left. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I'm going to finish off my edit by just adding some overall enhancements. This is what we had left off with in the last tutorial. And um, in this video, I'll show you how to create a very nice, uh, warm, creamy edit. So this is the before and the after. Okay, so I'm just going to take my group here that I've created and drag it down to the trash. And let's go ahead and get started from the beginning. The first thing I'd like to do with my images is just add a little bit of sharpening. To do that, I'm going to duplicate my layer by going to layer, uh, duplicate layer, I'm going to name this one uh, Sharpen. There we go. Next, I'm going to go to Filter, down to Other, and select High Pass. Okay, now with High Pass, you want to be able to, uh, now see how it's zoomed in on your subject so you can really see the definition that you're getting. Uh, you want to be able to see, make sure that you can see the outline of your subject or um, whatever you, you had photographed, whether it be landscape or other. Um, so I can see the outline and the of the baby here, and that's the most important part of my image. You don't want to over sharpen. See when I bring it up to 20, yes, I can really see the outline. But once I'm done um, with the sharpening, that's that's definitely a little bit overkill. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna keep mine, usually I'll keep it between three and five um, pixels. I'll keep mine at four and press okay. Um, so obviously this does not look great at the moment. Uh, one last step that we want to take is switch the blending mode. I'm going to click on normal right here, scroll down to overlay. Okay. Now it looks like there's no difference, but notice when I click on the little eyeball next to my layer, there's just that slight bit of difference. Again, you don't want to over sharpen your image. If it's too much, you can always take the opacity down and just work up to where you want uh, the sharpening to be. Okay, so I'm going to keep that as is. Next, I'm going to work on the skin. Um, in this particular image, I just I usually like to add a little bit of brightening to my subject skin just to make it look like they're they're standing out and they've got that really nice, beautiful, bright, creamy skin tone. So to do that, I will be using a layer mask. I'm going to go to le levels. Notice how I clicked on my little half circle here at the bottom of my layer panel. You can also go to layer, new adjustment layer, levels. I'll name this brighten skin. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a trial and error. I usually like to bring my darks up a little bit just to keep that contrast. Uh, on the top left slider, the middle slider is your midtones. I like to brighten it by bringing it a little bit further to the left. And the right slider is your bright, so I also like to bring that over to the left as well. And if it looks like it's getting too powdery, I'll bring, in the, bring up the contrast a bit. And sometimes when I'm done editing, I'll actually come back to this layer and I may make a few further adjustments. Uh, but for now, I really like that. Notice how the changes that I made apply to the entire image as well. Okay, we just want that to be applied to the skin. So the layer mask has already been created by default. Uh, it's the little triangle, or triangle, the uh, rectangle to the right of the half circle here. Okay, so I'm gonna invert it by pressing Control or Command I. Remember, when working with layer masks, black conceals and white reveals, okay? So right now, the entire enhancement is being concealed. I'm going to use my brush. If you don't see it, just right-click and click on your brush in your tools panel. Uh, I want white to be the foreground color, so if it's not, just click on your little uh, arrow here and bring white up to the foreground. My opacity is at 100%, and I'm just going to brush over baby skin. So I can reveal that enhancement that I had just created with the, the uh, levels layer. Okay. 
And I'm just breezing through this, brushing it over baby's skin. Okay, and I can click on the eyeball just to see it real quick before and after, see if I want to change the opacity. I'm really liking it as is, so I'm just going to keep that there for now. Okay, um, next I do want to add a little bit of warmth to both the highlights and uh, the dark tones in the image. Um, so I'm going to add a layer by clicking on the half circle, and I'm going to select solid color. I usually like to pick a nice uh, peachy tone. Okay, so you can notice how it's the color is right up here, almost white, but not quite. It's got that nice warmth uh, and peachy tone to it. And you can uh, copy the exact location that I've got here if you'd like, or just select a really nice um, pe light peachy tone. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. Okay. Now, obviously, this is too warm. So this is where I'm going to take the opacity, bring it down, and I really just want this to be super subtle. I'm going to keep it at 10%. So there's a slight warmth and difference that you can see here in the image. Okay. And I'm going to select, uh, add another layer here, select solid color again. Okay, and I'm going to use the same light peachy tone that I had before and press OK. Uh, this time we're changing the blending mode to overlay, so it really um, affects more of the darks in the image. Okay, I'm going to bring this one up to just 8%. Notice the slight difference. You're kind of getting a little bit of brightening and warmth in the image. Okay, a little bit really goes a long way when editing. Um, so next, I am going to add a little bit of definition along baby's um, lid crease here on her eyes. And then lastly, I'll create a nice creamy vignette and we'll be done with our edit. Okay, so when working with the eyes, I like to zoom in a little bit. Again, we'll be using a layer mask. I'm going to add a levels layer. And I will only be applying this to the crease in her eye. So that's really the only place I'm looking at when making this adjustment. So I just want that crease to be nice and dark. I'm bringing my darks in. Probably keep it right at 75%. Okay. And I'm going to invert my layer mask by pressing Control or Command I. Okay. Now we want to reveal that deep, rich, um, brown and black color that we had going along her lash line. Now it's probably going to be too much when you paint it on, but again, that's where we're going to adjust the opacity. Okay, so notice how she's getting a little bit of uh, definition there along the, the lash line, and I'm just going to do her other eye. Okay, if you make a mistake, here, I'm just going to there. Notice how there's a little dark mark on her forehead because I just literally painted um, onto it. So that's something I didn't want to do. Remember, black conceals. So I can just bring black to the foreground color, make my brush larger or smaller with the left and right bracket keys, and just wipe it off. Layer masks are truly amazing when editing in Photoshop because you can uh, erase paint back on or paint off uh, any particular effect or enhancement that you're adding to your image. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom back out here. Um, and lastly, we're going to add a creamy uh, color vignette. So I'm going to select gradient. Um, right next to style, I'm going to click on radial. Then I'm going to select reverse and dither. I, now, next I'm going to go over my settings. These aren't exact settings. These are just what I find work for me when I add vignettes. So you can kind of play with it and see what works for you. Uh, but my angle, I usually like to have around somewhere close to 45%. And then I'll click in the middle of the gradient box. Um, the top right dial, I'll bring into about 60. 
okay? And now I'm going to pick my color. I don't want it to be black, I want it to be a nice creamy uh, tan color. So here's where you can use your color picker tool and grab a really nice creamy color already existing on the image. I really like this warm uh, kind of tan caramel brown. I'm gonna press okay and double click on my bottom right dial. And here again, I can click um, within the image to get a nice complementing uh, color to the first. Okay, press OK and press OK. And now I can play with the opacity. It might be a bit strong. I can bring it down. Um, I actually like it right around, uh, we'll keep it at 85%. Okay, and one more thing that I do sometimes if the image isn't looking, her, her skin is still looking a little bit dull to me. So I'll always, always look at the skin all the way throughout the edit uh, and just make sure it's looking good. So one last thing I'm going to do is go to Hue Saturation. I'm gonna bring up the saturation and it's going to look oversaturated here for a moment. Uh, but I'm gonna change the blending mode to lighten, and I really only want this to be applied to her skin. So again, I'm gonna select the built-in layer mask and press Control or Command I, and I'm going to take my brush, bring white to the foreground color so I can reveal. I may change the opacity here uh, of the overall layer in a moment, um, but for now, I'll just keep that as is so I can brush it onto her skin. Now her toes are already a little red, so I don't want to make them any more saturated. Okay, um, so I am going to bring the opacity down to zero and just work my way up till I find that the color is looking really nice and creamy. I like that right around 40%, okay, and we're done. I'm going to go ahead and just group together the layers that we had just created. So you can see it real quick before and after. Notice the beautiful creaminess of the image, the beautiful skin tones, super simple to do. And thanks so much guys for sticking with me and watching how to create a composite, how to remove distractions from your background and how to edit a beautiful creamy uh, newborn image as well as a, a little bonus. I really hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching this video.